Yeah, congrats. You own a Zoom Live Track L8. Use it now as in an interface mode and need to implement a mix minus via the USB. I show you how. Yeah, the Zoom Live Track L8 is a cool equipment for podcasting, mixing, and whatsoever. And of course, you are aware, and that might be a, one of your decisions to buy it. If you do a podcast, if you have a guest who is connected via phone, you can realize a mix minus via the TRRS connection directly. But of course, it's also an interface. And as an interface, um, you connect it to the computer. And in this situations, if you want to use it as an interface, via Skype, WebEx, Zoom, or you stream something like uh, with OBS Studio. Also there, you would like to have a mix minus. And ideally, this mix minus is via USB. So of course, you can realize connections via this TRS cable if your computer has an adaption or um, with such an adapter like this. Um, however, it never really worked. So even with the cheapest normal interface, you have no problem if you do live streams or Skype calls because this just routes your microphone in and everything which comes from the computer is not routed back. And this is not the case for the live track. So if you go via USB, you have to do something in order that you can use it. And I show you how you can do that without any additional audio connections just via USB. Yeah, first of all, I want to show you the setup. Uh, in this context, I just have connected my pod mic to the channel one. I have connected my headphone to the master out and I have connected the TRS jack uh, to the corresponding connection. USB, the channel seven is set to USB, channel eight is set to uh, the TRS and all other channels are faded out and these channels are recorded. I record channel one, channel seven, channel eight, and the master. And of course there is no extra uh, effect on that. So that's the basic setting. So you might have realized that all the knobs are green instead of red, so it's not recording. It's in the play mode when I show it because I just have one camera, that's the reason. Okay, so now um, what works perfect is phone calls. So now just let's demonstrate how this works for a phone call. Yeah, hi Feline. Do you hear me? Hello, old man. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, this is recorded. We have to do it again. So because I have to cut out the old man then. <laughs> Hello, Feline. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks a lot. That was it. Thanks. Bye. No problem, bye. <laughs> so this phone call was via the TRS. It was directly via the Zoom. It was recorded via the Zoom. And you see, no problem, sound is perfect. And it's a mix minus signal. So the other one didn't get a, a, a doubling of the sound. So therefore, everything is fine. That's what uh, how the uh, equipment was constructed for. And now we come to the computer. Let's say um, we think of the interface mode and now in interface mode of course you can for example use your door and you can record every channel separately but most other software just gets the master signal so um, therefore everything which comes in comes from the master channel and if you have connected it and you want to hear also what's coming from the computer you need to have your usb up and therefore this master channel contains both it contains the the signal from the computer, which goes back, therefore recording already with a computer with USB up is a problem. However, you could, as a solution, you could also use this TRS check if your computer has that. But in principle, that's the case. In reality, this sounds like this. I'm demonstrating that now. So what I do is I connect this TRS check to my Surface Pro, which has a TRS check. I take out the uh, signal from the computer from the USB part. So the channel seven, I mute down and now I connect it and I will put audacity that you hear in audacity, how this sounds like. Um, and I record now, now it's connected. And now I go to audacity.
And I record now the signal from my Zoom live track. And the signal you hear now is the Audacity signal. And you see always in the da down there what signal you actually hear. I can, of course, yeah, that's, that's what you hear. I think we can stop recording here. And I think we also disconnected now. So now we are back. So do you hear this is not perfect. We have a real problem there. So via TRS, it doesn't work. So what is, a, um, at least in my case, and I did, I worked on that for hours, it did work. So what can you do? What Zoom recommends is you generate a mix minus on one of these headphone monitors. So, so you can do that via splitter. Um, however, with a splitter, it didn't it? it is, it's even more ugly. So you say, oh, maybe it's the port. So what I do now is I use this small extra sound card, put it on the USB port, and check whether it works with this. So what I did now is I connected the microphone port, the new microphone port at the computer with the monitor out um, where I generated a mix out. I have all channel seven and eight are uh, down. It's just the microphone which goes in and I record it now again in Audacity. And that's now the recording in Audacity. That's what you hear if um, you record that like this in Audacity. I can switch to the original signal now, which is recorded from the microphone. So it's just now this microphone which goes into this channel. And this is the ori original recording. Maybe I switch back and now um, you hear the Audacity recording. So you see also there, it's not perfect. You have this thing in the back. It's really better than before with a TRS check, but it's not good. Yeah, so short demonstration. The second was the official Zoom recommendation. It didn't work and I did everything. It didn't really work. So even with with fiddling around USB and so on, it always had this, uh, this ugly sound. And second, of course, it's a problem. You have now an interface and you want just to use it. You don't want to add additional audio cables and so on. It's via USB. It should work like with these cheap bearing interface for 32 hours where you don't 32 hours 32 uh, euros where you have no problem so you would like to have that also with your zoom live track so what can you do yeah and honestly i didn't find anything in the in the internet with respect to this but the solution is so easy and that's sometimes you think so oh um this is really easy if you have worked two let's say hours trying to get the system running and then you realize it's a really easy solution you just have to think a bit different then that's it the problem with our thinking is that we think that the master channel is the master channel so everything is on the master but that's the point we have to make the master channel in this case a mix minus channel so and if you do that everything is fine so you have no problem we are recording all signals anyhow because the signals are recorded pre-fader so everything which comes from the usb on channel 7 is recorded on its own channel regardless of where the position of your fader is so if you look here now and if i if i would have a video playing in the computer i now this is a music video of my son so um it's running and if you look, and this is now going on the master channel, and this is now going on um, the normal channel, which is recorded. Now, if I take the signal down, it's going away from the master channel, but it's still recorded. So if I'm just interested in the recording, I don't care about this fader position in the channel, uh, in the master channel. So I could just fade it out in the master channel. But if I want to still hear it, I generate, I just plug my microphone instead of the master out. I go to monitor out. And what I do is I create now in my mix A, I create now something else where I've just put all the signals back. So in my mix A, I have now my USB out and I hear it on my headphones. 
but not in the master. So in other words, the things which go and just have to fade it a bit out here. So in other words, the master is the signal which goes back via USB to the computer and most software use this master signal. So therefore, if you have set it up like this, things are easy. Your computer gets from your interface just the signal, in this case of the microphone, and no more the signal which comes from the computer, but you still hear it. Very simple. Just change your microphone plugs from master out to mix one, for example, and generate a mix minus in the master where you just fade out your USB. And don't worry, it's recorded anyhow. So just to repeat the settings in the master channel, I have my microphone connected to channel one. Of course, that is on. Then I have my USB channel seven. This is completely faded out. Um, channel eight is in this case not interesting. And I have connected my headphone not to the master, but to the mix one. So the master channel here and the USB channel will just have the signal of the microphone. Of course, if I have other microphones, I would also put them in the channel. Now my mix A has the microphone, of course. And in addition, my mix A has the USB out. So the USB out is on my mix A, but it's not on my master and therefore it's not going back. And just looking whether this works, I can tell you if you're, <laughs> it works. So the first demonstration is a WebEx demonstration. And the second demonstration is OBS Studio, where you would like to do a live streaming or something like that. And of course, also there it works. So you can do now with this setting Skype calls, you can do live streams, and you can all do that via your USB connections. There is no need for an additional audio connection whatsoever and you have the full quality in your stream so i'm just starting now as a webex call with this mix minus setting as you see i use as headphone my zoom l8 so it goes via this headphone um, and i use also the zoom l8 as the audio source via USB. And now let's start a meeting. So here we are in the WebEx meeting and um, let's allow a participant. Here we go. It might take a second until, yeah, we have the signal. Hi Elke, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm fine. Uh, can you can you hear me just once or is it double the sound? Once. Once. This is perfect. Yeah. This was it. Thank you very much. This was this was the WebEx meeting in the same house. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. So you see no problems with the, with the WebEx call. This would be the same with the Skype call whatsoever. Um, so again, the connection is just this mix minus USB setting, microphone connected, headphone connected, as you would do it with every other interface. And now let's have a look how it works with OBS Studio. So now we're in the OBS Studio and you see that I'm, of course, using my webcam. You see the signal is getting in. This is the... USB minus setting. So I have on my master um, all channels, but not the USB channel getting into the um, live track L8. The mix A contains the signal also from the computer. So if I start, for example, a video. Then the signal, as you see, is displayed, goes to the live track, is recorded, but doesn't get back via this channel here. Waking up 
what you also see is that my computer doesn't like um, with OBS too much work because it's kind of not constructed for encoding 500 videos. So um, there are then uh, drops and so on with the, with respect to the video, but you don't have the problem with recording because the recording happens with a live track. So you can trust then this recording. That's quite a, a cool thing, by the way. And of course, streaming, you stream everything then into the into the stream uh, and you can do the sound settings as you want. So you can, of course, stream everything, but it's important that your microphone and your signal from the live track doesn't contain the signal of the computer. So it behaves like an audio interface, a normal audio interface. Yeah, now, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, you see, it's easy. You um, just need to switch in your head from master having all signals to master having all signals but the USB from the computer. S put your headphone to mix A or wherever and there you put a get you give the USB signal and then everything is fine. Don't forget to record everything. Then you have recorded on a several channel and then you can of course do all the post stuff on a separate channel and uh, then everything is fine. It's so easy to realize a USB minus connection. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye and have fun with your Zoom live track. Waking up when it's nine o'clock in the morning. Waking up when I, I have nothing to do. So there are things that should be done. Should do nothing, it's just time After four weeks of being at home After four weeks of being alone After four weeks of being bored I grab my guitar, thanks some chords And then just start to sing it out I don't want to be here in this boring don't want to be here in this boring room I want to party all day, I want to go on a date I just want to have some fun I want to go on a date, I want to party all day I just want to have some fun Just want to have some fun Just want to have some fun